All right, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I usually talk about makeup, but uh, right now I'm going to be talking about my top seven favorite movies. Now, before I get started, if you're like 14 years old and you're watching this, don't piss off your parents. I mean, then again, if they don't mind, go for it. But um, yeah, I don't want to piss any parents off. <laughs> now, the first one is Babel. It has Kate Blanchett and Brad Pitt and a wide variety of actors and actresses. Now, if you've seen Crash, you have an idea what to expect with this movie, but it's um, very, very different compared to that one. Uh, it has uh, multiple stories going on at once uh, around the world. You see so many cultures and the way these people live. It's very, very beautiful, I promise you, and a little tough to watch because unlike most movies, it's a little realistic because it gives you an idea uh, more of a what-if situation, but overall, very, very good movie. It is fabulous. Now, the next two I'm going to show you both have Ellen Page. This one is The Tracy Fragments. Uh, I guarantee you, very, very different movie, not only because it, it has Ellen Page and she's a wonderful actress, but because it's filmed extremely different. Unlike most movies where it's shot one way, this one shot multiple ways. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think that's the proper terms, but... It's more of like a collage going on, and it moves very, very quickly. Now, if you have a blepsy or some type of like condition to where you can't play video games or anything like that, I don't want to be the reason why you have a seizure. But still a very good movie. A little sad, but Ellen Page is breathtaking. She's awesome. Now, the next one is Hard Candy. Now, if you thought Juno was the shit, you have no idea what's going on. This was actually before Juno. And uh, it's a bit of a man-hating movie, actually. It was filmed under a very, very low budget with very little... Like, there's three actors tops in this movie. That's it. She's wearing a wig in this movie, and she is crazy. A little bit of a spoiler. There's a bit of a castration scene in this movie. I usually show this movie on my first dates. But great movie. I'm sure you'll love it. Now, the next four are all by the same director, John Sono. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. First one, Suicide Circle. You say club, but the translation is actually circle. And then Suicide Circle 2. Now, uh, the thing about these movies is that they're both different from each other, from being connected as one. The first one is more of a horror genre. The second one is more of a drama. Now, uh, the first one is about uh, what... Um, what's happening in Japan with the high suicide rates and everything. The second one is what a family's... Ugh, excuse me, is what a family is going through while this is happening. And uh, it's more poetic, and again, like I said, a little depressing, actually, because it's more realistic. But certain parts of the movie, like um, the bloody scenes, you can tell it's fake. It has more of an old-school feel to it, but then again, it makes your skin crawl. Overall, Sion Sono is a great director. I promise you, you watch him, you will wanting more. I promise you that. He's a great director, never disappoints me whatsoever. The next one is Love Exposure. If you loved Kill Bill, I promise you, you will love this movie. 236 minutes long. I sat through the entire thing with my best friend, and it is so cute. It's funny, has action, has drama, everything. This movie has everything going on. Ooh, my text message. <laughs> has everything going on at once. It is great fabulous but the problem is if you want to get a hold of the movie it's very difficult to find because this is a region two i thought it was a region one or a zero but if you get a dvd this dvd and you find out that it's not made for the united states you have to upgrade to uh, a multi-region dvd player or you could just put it in your computer but just to play it safe yeah Ooh, phone call yes are you here? Of course I have toothpicks. What house doesn't have toothpicks? Those houses are freaks because everybody should have a fucking thing of toothpicks in their house. Sure. Alright, bye-bye. That's my friend Sabrina. She's coming over. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is a great movie. I'm, 
I guarantee you, you will love it. If you, the notebook isn't shit. This is the real love story right here. This is so cute. It shows how far a guy will go just to get a girl's attention, just to show her how much he actually loves her. You know, out of all the movies that are extremely graphic that I've seen, this one is by far the greatest. You can see how well the movie did, but at the same time, it's a tough movie to watch. If you can't watch rape scenes or anything that has to do with children being abused, don't watch the movie. But, bitch, ain't better call me again. Okay. Anyways, yeah, this is Strange Circus. Now, um, <clears throat> this movie has such beautiful, well-shot scenes. So beautiful, like, it was, it was very touching to me. But, you will love this movie. You put it on in the middle of the night when you're alone, or maybe with your girlfriend, boyfriend, best friend, whatever. You two, again, you'll be crawling back for more Sion Sono. You will be in love with this director just as much as I am. But like I said, can't handle certain things that are, might push your buttons a little bit, don't watch the movie. But those are my top seven favorite movies. Now, like I said, if you want to get a hold of them, cool, awesome. Have a little movie night with your best friends. It's going to be great. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I wouldn't put this out there if it wasn't true. Now... I gotta go. I gotta bring some toothpicks out to my fucking friend's mother. So <laughs> I'll up upload more uh, uh, upload more videos later.